What's going on everybody? Chris Baird here. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a new member, thanks for coming by today. Um, this is something super cool. I don't even know this is going to make it in a video. I just figured I'd film this because I don't know what to expect right now. A few weeks ago, I went to an antique store down here in uh, the Delaware, Maryland area. Uh, one that we go to all the time. Just because there's always some cool stuff. And I found an old Canon AE-1 film camera. Now, if you know anything about old film cameras, uh, this is one of the top of the line cameras. One of the last original film cameras. This one actually has like electronic exposure and shutter and all that. It's really cool. It's a really nice camera. Uh, there was already a roll of film in it with about half of the pictures taken. So I finished that roll up and there was another uh, roll of film in the bag as, as well as three lenses. So I got like, a good deal. I got hooked up. But I took a whole roll of film pictures at CJ's farm, which as you guys probably know by now is called Pokemoke Ranch. Um, I got them right here. I haven't even opened them yet. So I figured I would just uh, video myself opening them because I don't know how they came out. The one roll I know what to expect if the pictures actually worked and the film wasn't bad, if the film was still good. Should be some really cool shots. And then the other one I don't know what to expect because someone else took the pictures, not me. So yeah, this is just a cool little bit I want to show you guys. Uh, we can kind of go through these together. And yeah, I'm going to set my camera up here and we will see what we find. Sorry about my uh, pasty legs. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna open these up. Again, I don't think it really matters if you guys see any of this stuff. Not really anything. That's my old phone number anyways, so we're good there. But uh, yeah. Oh, oh, we got pictures, we got pictures. Oh no, I think they're all bad. These all look bad. These are like moon pictures, I think. I honestly have no idea what these are. Oh, no way. Yo, look at that. Someone took these to the beach. I feel like these got to be super old. Just, like, look at... I don't even know. Maybe it's not super old. I didn't take these. These are not my photos. I do not know who took these, when they took them. These are actually really good, too. I think the film was just going bad. So I think that's why they look kind of, like, blown out and washed out. But these are actually some really cool pictures. And that looks like some light might have got into some of them, but... Like, look at the people down there. You can actually see that there's, like, actual humans. Yeah, I think some light got into these. Um, like, if you open it up. Hmm. I don't know. It's still kind of cool, though, right? I mean... Just kind of reading that. Yeah, this is just what their, uh, their little explanation about what happened here, so... This was the one that I did not take. These are the ones that were already in the camera. I think the ones at the end are just ones I took in the car that one day. I was, uh, yeah, I was at the, I was at the antique store when I got it and I just took it out and took a couple shots. I didn't really know what to expect. So that one wasn't that exciting, but um, these are the ones of the farm. So I'm actually kind of hoping that these came out. Oh, they did too. They fucking did. Oh, I'm so excited right now, guys. Oh, yo, look at that. That's so cool. Yo, look at these. Oh my God, this is so sick. I love film cameras. Just something about these pictures. Even the way like the, the light leaked into that. I accidentally opened the camera at one point. I didn't mean to. And some light got into there. But look at how cool that looks. I tried taking like a cool like artsy picture. That didn't really work out very well for me. But kind of cool. <laughs> a little overexposed, but not a big deal. That's just like the lawnmower sitting there when it was broken down. Um, one of the trailer overexposed again, not a huge deal, but um, that's in that one shed and the, the farming equipment. Wow. Well, this is the one I took through the window. Is there a face in that? Do you guys see like a face in that picture? Let me know. I can't really tell, but if you guys know that's the one room with the glass um like the overlay it looks like the the different colored glass it's just a like i think a decoration type of deal but um i can show you guys sometime this actually came out pretty cool this is one i took in the puddle i focused on the puddle um that's like showing like the top of the house it was just a little bit more artistic but it's easy to do with these film cameras so these actually came out good like i'm kind of happy they're they're exposed well um I didn't really know what to take pictures of because I was just like, I don't even know if this is going to work. So I will be going back. I'm going to order more film today and I will go take more pictures. So this is super cool. It's the, of the, the shooting range. Um, that's obviously the front door. So we got that. <laughs> this is the one of the roof. 
they're all like focused and everything they look really decent i'm so surprised right now i really am that's the one of the light bulb on the ground and i don't know if you guys remember the video with the van uh, but we found a light bulb on the ground for whatever reason it just kind of looked cool in my eyes so um yeah there's that some of the plants at the front of the house which you guys might not have seen but these are just there they're outside they're growing they look really cool they kind of give me some florida vibes um that's one of the picnic table and the shed it's another cool shot all right it literally looks like there's a face in that picture what the hell do you guys see that in the window i'm trying not to like overdo it here and be like oh there's a face but like look at that it looks like there's a face at the bottom window Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Either way, it's a cool picture. So, so just like another artsy one. Some leaves. I just can't believe this came out so good. I'm so happy with all these. This is so awesome. I don't know what that little trough thing is. I don't know if they were like panning for gold or what. But I thought those looked kind of cool. Um, there's that. That's just the Honda. Modern car on film. I have to post that on my Instagram or something. Get some likes. That one's hard to tell, just a little bit of sun. I think I was shooting in the sun, so it looked like there was a little bit of like a, a glare on there, but um, yeah. That's the, the back of the shed, which is kind of cool. And then I'm guessing there's not really any more left. So that's kind of cool. There's a little bit of like light leak there. I don't know if that's like a apparition or something. I don't think it's an apparition really, but um, just a picture of that shed, so. And then that's the last one, whatever that one was, just uh, the sun really got to it. Again, with the film cameras, like they they have like the spot where the film goes, you open it up, put the film in, close it. And I accidentally popped it open at one point, so I think that's why a couple of the pictures had the light leaks, because as soon as light gets in the film, uh, it just ruins your exposures. So you gotta make sure you do not expose them to any light besides what you know you're taking the pictures with in the camera. So all in all, guys, I thought this is really cool. I'm really impressed with how these came out. Uh, I was not expecting them to come out at all. I thought the film was gonna be expired, but clearly it wasn't, so um i got a cd i'm probably gonna post some of these online i think i'm gonna sell some of these to you guys if you guys want to buy like original film shots of the farm uh the pokemoke ranch anyways what i should call it it's not a farm anymore pokemoke ranch but yeah i got all these pictures here i'm gonna go through them with cj and see what he wants to do and uh, yeah we'll figure something out so so yeah i just thought this would be kind of cool to show you guys again this is something i did last week i just I bought a film camera because i love photography photography is one of my literal favorite hobbies in the world and i bought one of my dream antique film cameras uh, at an antique shop and I just I just can't believe how well it worked uh, the camera has a few different lenses I'm gonna go play around with but um, I don't even know if I can buy film in here I might go back in and see if they have rolls of film to buy and if they don't then I'll go buy some online and I'm gonna try to take some pictures for you guys because I'm, I'm excited one of the best parts about taking uh, pictures with a film camera is you have to wait you don't know how these come out like you literally, I waited almost two weeks for these because I was away for a few days and I, you just don't know what to expect. Like, this is literally one of the coolest things I've ever done. So, yeah, guys, hope you're having a good day. Uh, we're going to go film tonight. I think we're going to do some camping uh, in the next couple of days as well. So, uh, fall's coming. It's cooling down. The ticks are starting to go away. They're uh, putting their winter clothes on and packing and getting out of here. So, thankful for that. So, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, more exciting content coming soon, guys. Talk to you soon. Just giving you guys a quick little intro here because I just got to the farm. It's a Saturday. It's the weekend. Uh, everyone's just hanging out at the house. And I was a little bored, so I figured I'd come out and get some work done today. Uh, I'm gonna go work on the trail. Uh, the trail system is somewhat planned out, but it just needs a little bit of work. I gotta get the chainsaw on there. And I'm gonna start cutting some trees and just kind of cleaning it up and making it so we can walk through there. We're working on getting a skid steer, so I'll be able to actually go through and kind of backplate it and make it like a legit trail, get the dirt all padded down. So it'll be nice to walk on, especially when it gets like rainy or muddy or out of the dirt is a little soft. Uh, we're gonna make it so it's really nice. You're gonna be able to take the trail from the back corner over there all the way around. To the front of the house it's gonna be a really long trail system we might even try to make it so it goes around the the back side of the shed too but I'm, I'm gonna do a little bit of time we're not gonna overdo it no rush so just want to give you guys that heads up that's what we're working on today that's what a little bit of this video is gonna be about so I'm gonna get the chainsaw out of the house and we're gonna get working yeah I'm not quite sure if you guys saw this yet but uh, CJ had his contractor in here working and look at that we got a door uh, the door is actually not 100% finished because as you can see there's no door handle or lock or anything yet um, bolt lock deadbolt whatever you want to call it so it's coming we're working on it they're working on it anyways um we're gonna get that all nice and touch pad type of deal so that'll be pretty cool but uh yeah so um it's the house the stairs also got fixed as well the basement stairs are way better if you didn't watch cj's video or if it's not up yet we found something in that hole that you need to see it was actually literally one of the craziest nights of our lives uh what we found in there does not even make sense so 
I um, just want to tell you guys that too. Um, I'm going to grab the chainsaw stuff. I don't have the battery for the electric saw. I also hate the electric saw, so I don't really care. Oh, there it is. You guys can see it right there. We're going to have the, the Honeywell deadbolt with the, the touch pad on it. So, password is going to be 6969 more than likely. Kidding, of course. All right, y'all. So I had more plans to stay longer, but uh, I just stopped to grab some water. It's been about an hour or so. I've been working in there. And um, yeah, there was probably 15 ticks on my phone, like tiny little baby ticks. As soon as I took my gloves off, I noticed. So there's probably ticks all over me right now, unfortunately. So I don't really want to stay much longer. I'm going to get out of these clothes and head back to the house and shower and change. And definitely going to scrub myself with soap 19 times, make sure all the ticks are gone. But <laughs> I just want to show you guys what I've been working on really quick. Um, originally I had planned on working on the trail entrance over there by the car, which is going to loop all the way around, but uh, I had to get some uh, legal clearance, I guess, before I cut any more trees out there, just to make sure that we're on the right property lines and everything, so um, I'm pretty sure I was, but either way, um, we're going to have a little escape route right here, essentially. Point of that, just so you know, if someone does get too scared and wants to get out of the woods, or if there's like an emergency or something, there's actually going to be another entrance to get to the trail system. It's a decent ways away, too, so... I mean, at least you'll have to go like a little bit ways through, but uh, you guys can see right here. So if you want to just start like halfway through, you know, you can start, you can start a little bit ways into it. And um, I'm going to have this all cleared out, like all the, the prickers and all these little plants on the ground. Right now they're a little bit annoying, but we'll get to them. But yeah, so as you guys know, I investigated over by that tree, I don't know, a few weeks ago. This is where all that quote unquote alligator stuff happened. So um, it's actually gonna go around this tree and around the back. It's gonna go down along the water because the water is all right there So I'm gonna try to keep it really low and I'm gonna connect it to the other entrance over there um, But yeah, it's gonna be like a good spot right here to investigate I'm gonna try to get some chairs or picnic bench or something down here Just so if people do want to sit do your spirit box that's these method all that stuff you can As you can see back of the shed up there and then the trail will actually go right around here I just caught a bunch of stuff through here. It's kind of hard to tell but I did but the trail is gonna go right through there and then the dock is over there so yeah it was a pretty good day pretty happy with it but yeah cj said he's gonna make the rentals available august 31st so get your name on the list to rent the property out be one of the first people to investigate here with me your tour guide i'm gonna be doing all the tour guides so i'm really excited about that obviously if i can't make it or something i won't be here but you know life does happen sometimes but yeah that's all i got for you guys right now just that quick little run through essentially show you what we're working on and it's actually really hot too. I'm like, my jeans are soaked. I never sweat like this in clothes before. It's weird, like really weird. I don't know why I'm sweating this much, but yeah, place is looking pretty good. Like every time I look around, I'm just like, damn, this place really looks nice. Like we're doing a good job. So I'm super happy. We're gonna keep digging. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, hopefully tonight we'll come back and investigate. So you'll see some more content for me and CJ and maybe Dylan. And yeah, catch up to you in a little bit. That's creepy. What? What the hell? What happened? Look at this. Why is there like a a hoe thing on the door? Yeah. I've never seen that before. Better yet, what the hell is all this noise? I don't know. <laughs> that was the loudest. <sighs> it's gotta be the portal. It's gotta be the portal. Gotta be. And you, you said it earlier, like, things have really been ramping up lately. They really have.
It's like snap your finger and energy changed. Yeah. I was fine until that. What was that? Oh my god. What was that? That's like a bang in a voice. This place gets darker and darker with the energy. It's. Oh man. Did that light fall over? So we heard. Oh boy. I'm just wondering. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out if that's what we heard. No, 100%. Your video, buddy. What do you mean? <laughs> your video. Yeah. How much money for you to sit on that? There ain't enough money in Delaware for me to sit on that bed. No. I just don't understand what that was. Hang on, so what was the deal with the door the other day? Okay, I thought, we, thought we closed it. For the sake of us. Pretty sure we did. Are you halfway to the steps? Is there anybody up here? Any humans up here? Oh man, I hate that. I don't see anything like out of place. <laughs> like the, the video hasn't really even started yet and we're already oh. struggling like this. Oh boy, the anxiety has set in. Yeah. Okay. Who's in the attic? Can you make another noise for us? Move that broom. Dude, my light! My light just shut off. What? My light just died. What? Oh, shit. <laughs> I was looking in the attic and I said, can you do something for me? Look, it was just charged. I brought oh. all brand new equipment. Oh, boy. Okay, we see you. Uh, well, we don't see you, but we know you're here. I, I don't know. Very funny, asshole. You turn this light off and then we're gonna have a problem. Cause who's gonna have a light? Nobody. Turn off, bitch. I whack you. <laughs> Can you turn that light off for us? Fuck you, Chris. Do it. No. Let's see how powerful you are. You turned off a little Litra. Do a big light. Yeah, here, hold that. <laughs> so don't follow me. I'm not fucking buttons on. Just make sure. Guess it got out of a system, you know? Killed a light, made a lot of boom. Scared the shit out of us. I'm following you, buddy. I'm just your light. Follow me. Oh, thanks. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah, no problem at all. Cool. When it's walked down in the dark abyss.
We'll just, let's just walk again. Walk again. Stand the fuck down. Slow down. You look right on the left. Or what? I'll look right. You look left. <laughs> we can't fit one of the steps, Chris. <laughs> steps were made for the two of us. You mean fuck this place? I'm gonna put it up for sale. <laughs> Please do. I'm over this already. I thought you were coming down with it. Huh? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, that was something else there. Oh, fuck. Did that shit fall? Or was that like that? That was not like that. Okay. That was all leaned up. I thought. That's power. Dude, whoever's up here has got some power tonight. Like, no, seriously. I'm, I'm waiting for that shovel to just get like wailed at us. <laughs> I'll stay behind you. One of you wail that shovel at us? No, please, no. I'm, I'm gonna stand over to you. You wail, you wail Chris. Straight path. Straight path. You can hit him. Or kill that light. That'd be kind of cool. No. He's in there. Fuck that moth, bro. What's it doing? Something, something bad had to have happened up here. It's just so dark. It's so different. I mean, first it was that thing. The staircase falling down that one time. It was nailed shot. Yeah. Killing lights. Was that? Strange. You go downstairs and like regroup. Mm -hmm. Get my shit together here. I'm struggling right now. You go downstairs and like read. It's very warm up there. I mean, we got we got hoodies on just for mosquitoes, but. What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris Baird. Welcome to my channel. Tonight we are here inside of the Pokemon Ranch, as it's finally been announced. You might also know it as CJ Faison's farm. Uh, I'm actually here tonight with CJ himself. Probably over there watching some TikToks, trying to improve his golf game. No? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stock market wasn't too kind to me today. I'm just, no. you know. Lose some money. Over here licking my wounds. <laughs> Where I tell the wife to go to Target and spend some more money. Woo! Get them numbers back up. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, I just want to um, fill you guys in. The start of this video, which you guys are going to see, uh, was very unplanned. We were down in the basement just trying to figure out how we wanted to start the investigation. And we had some crazy stuff happen. It just a uh, crazy noise happened up here that we could not understand. And then we started uh, digging around a little bit down in the basement. So the first 15 minutes or so, like I said, totally unplanned. Uh, we weren't planning on filming at all, but just it's just the energy in the house. It's been changing a lot over the past few weeks. We've been doing a lot more. We've been cleaning. We've been upgrading, remodeling, just a bunch of new stuff going on. We've been metal detecting. We've been digging stuff out of the ground. 
the energy has changed. It's shifted a ton. It's been ramping up like crazy. Uh, I cannot wait for you, all of you guys to come in here and actually investigate this place yourself. It's going to be wild, but I don't know what to expect. Uh, honestly, I think the spirits are pissed at us for what we've been doing, but uh, tonight's going to be a true test of that. So let's get going in this video. Uh, we're going to start out in the doll room tonight, and we're going to see if we can make one of them dolls the eyes blink or move or, I don't know, maybe make one of them fall off the shelf or something. So make sure you leave a like and a comment and uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and let's get into the video. All right, so as I said, oh, oh boy. Uh, I think we're gonna start over here in the doll room and uh, something really cool that we wanted to do um, As you guys can see behind us, we have a bunch of dolls up on the wall. A few of these dolls are supposed to be haunted uh, We've had some things move and fall and I think they're haunted personally um, And also we we actually acquired another new doll. So we want to say thank you to Missy Missy is a, a, one of our friends. She lives in Delaware. She comes and visits us all the time she gave us this doll and First some stories about it. Um, it's been in a box for a little bit and uh, the box actually went missing at the auction for a couple weeks. Can't explain that, but that's another story for another time. Whether or not you guys believe in haunted dolls. I don't know, uh, these items here that we are given, we're very grateful for. And uh, we hope that it brings more energy into the house because when you guys come to investigate, you guys want stuff to happen, right? So um, we're hoping that everybody gets really good spiritual activity here, but the dolls, we, we want more. Essentially, this is the doll room, and we want to fill this room full of dolls. So I'm going to put an address up on the screen. If you guys have any haunted dolls that you want to send us to have in this room, be a permanent fixture of the Pokemon branch, send them to this address right here, and we will put your doll in the room, and you'll have a per permanent spot inside of the ranch, which we thought was really cool. So we want to thank everybody who's donated to us so far. And, yeah, I figured we'd come in here. Um... I think they said the nun's haunted. I don't remember which theory haunted. I think that one's haunted. I know the nun's a little bit creepy, but I'm going to open up. What's that new app you got? I didn't download that one yet. The Necrometer app? Necrometer. That one's supposed to be pretty cool, but uh, I'm going to try the Ghost uh, Ghost Tube app. Have you ever used that one? I'm going to try the Ghost Tube VOX app. I've heard this one's pretty cool. Turn my volume up. It's like a spirit box. That was me. But okay. Before it wasn't. I don't know what that was. Uh, that's a string. All right, so I got some equipment out, guys. Uh, the old trusty EMF K2 meter. I'm gonna set this up here. If you guys see this thing go off and, you, and I don't notice it or say anything about it, please leave a comment, leave a timestamp so I can see it. Again, we're trying to make any correlations we can, collect as much evidence as we possibly can about this place and this farm. Um, because again, we're trying to write the history here and read the history. And oh, it's already look at that. I think it was already going off. So we got the clown. Personally, not a big fan of clowns myself, but um, I also have a voice recorder here. I'm gonna turn it on. Um, if I don't, you know, put anything about this in my video, then you know that I didn't catch anything. But um, I'm gonna review this after we get home and see if anything comes up or anything happens. So um, I'm really a big fan of these. I just think it's interesting to hear what the spirits might say or talk into these. So you can see that thing is rolling right there. So. Uh, I invite any spirits that are in this room to come talk to me. You can talk into this red light, and this device will pick up your voice. I'll be able to hear you. I'm going to put it right next to the orange thing up here. It's going off right now, so please feel free to come in and talk to us. Um, I'm going to open up Spirit Talker on my phone. We're going to ask some questions and see if anything happens, see if we get any activity in the, the ranch tonight. So we've already had some weird stuff happen. We were out metal detecting today. If you watched CJ's video, uh, I'm not sure if it's the one that's out now or coming out next week. Uh, we found some pretty cool stuff metal detecting, that's all I'm going to really say. So, uh, Spirit Talker is rolling, and um, very basic question as always, but just trying to figure out who's here with us tonight. If you want to give us a name, uh, nickname, anything that you want to tell us tonight, you can talk into my phone as well as that device up there on the shelf. So, go ahead and uh, talk to us. Uh, my name is Chris. I am here with my friend CJ. He owns this property. Let us know what you want to say. Maybe explain what's been going on. Who's been making all the noises that have been scaring the crap out of us? Oh, 
Well, nothing. All right. I guess we're done for the night, guys. It's been fun. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. Well, let's put that up there, too. So we've got three devices up there. Uh, I think you guys can kind of see all those. So, Whew, yeah. Um, I'm hoping that these dolls really like bring something to the place, just new energy. I don't know how the spirits who've been living here are going to feel about that, but I think it's kind of cool to kind of watch these worlds collide and see what happens. They keep secrets here. All right, that's kind of cool. They keep secrets here. Um, where do they keep the secrets? Uh, what Can you tell us anything about the secrets? Well, I, I don't really know what that means. Does that have anything to do with like the possible bodies on the property? The unmarked, unfound graves? Is that... I just heard like a, like, like a bang or something. This is so creepy. That's really creepy. I know. I feel so. I feel like they're all just staring at me. Like no matter which way you go. I invite any spirit that is here in this house tonight to make a noise, bang on a wall. Please scare us. We we love the thrill. And we want to hear you. We want to feel you. And it's quiet again. It's it's unexpected. Interesting. Can you go up and uh, maybe touch one of these dolls or maybe even use the energy from one of the dolls to talk to us or to communicate with us in some form? Touch one of these lights up here. That thing will light up cool colors. You can knock that ugly little baby off if you want. I don't like that thing at all. It's creepy as hell. Even three dog is really quiet tonight. It's kind of strange. I don't really... It was really weird, actually. Yeah. As again, coming into this, it was just... Carpet. Carpet. There's not any carpet. There's Is there not carpet, carpet, carpet anywhere in this house? Isn't there a rug in the the far room over there? Isn't there like a rollout rug? Uh, Maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna go real quick. Wait, because there's not a carpet in there. Did one of those dolls just move? It sounded like one of what? Yes, like... I heard like a. <laughs> Like a, or like, I, I Something moves. I don't know what one of them turn. I should have moved my. Like... Are you talking? Are you talking into that red light? Is that what you're saying? I would love to play that back and hear some crazy stuff. That would be insane. Can you use your lungs to to talk to us or to to make something happen in here? Take one of these books and knock it off the shelf. Is that a voice? Was that an actual voice? Did you hear that? Was outside? Yep. You got any other flashlights? Uh, no, I do not. Just this. Your camera, 155 fucking percent. I had to have caught that. I know, I know. My video, I go first. It sounded like someone was just talking outside the window we were at. Which would have been those, this one around the corner, right? But it was like right outside. The fucking I don't see anything. Like, I'm trying to look out that way. Jeez, it's like, what? The window's not even open. For that to have been like that, it had to be really loud. Because it would have been that window right there. Look at the lights on again. The lights on? I'm on the left, the green light. That's so weird. Guys, the power is not turned on to the house right now. We're still doing you know, renovations and construction, but 
every once in a while we capture this green light just flashing i know it's probably nothing to some people but it's just so strange to us because we're here every night and it does not always happen so I guess we're just gonna call that nothing. I don't, I don't know what that was, but possibly one of the greatest EVPs we've captured if it that, <laughs> came yeah, through the camera. The EVP I think I've ever, 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 ever heard. Like heard live. Yeah. Whew. Oh. Damn. Let me make sure I go oh, lock that quick. What? That just. Just to catch that, it's oh. crazy. Thanks, so guys. If we miss anything, please let us know in the comments. Because we don't always catch everything, even during editing. I like curtains more too. <laughs> oh, is it bothering you? You don't yeah, like that? That's freaking me out, dude. It's like someone's staring at you, don't you? Yeah. Presents. We got two names. We got Glenn and Julian, and then it said presents. As soon as we walk back in, it says presents. It's kind of weird. I'm logging into the camera though. Okay. So I see what's going on or... Are you guys happy that we're back and uh, blessing you with our presence? Is that why you're saying that? Gotta be. I'm gonna ask one more time. If you want to come to this room and touch this orange device, it'll light up. It'll confirm that you're here with us right now. Let us know that we're not just wasting our time trying to talk to spirits that don't want to communicate. What is this? I don't want to talk to us anymore. Maybe it's this room. I don't. I don't honestly know, but. I feel like I haven't had a ton of crazy activity in here yet, uh, besides what we've had happen with the bad exteriors, but this room is weird with the dolls, but not like the most active room in the house, I guess we could say. I'm going to shut this off for a little bit. I don't know, man. What do you think? I mean, it's been like, just, this has been weird. It just... Everything is just ramping up, ramping up, ramping up, ramping up. I did. This has been building up for weeks now. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it, but. Do you think it's going to get worse when like new people start showing up? I think so. I, I think 100% because everybody's going to bring in a different type of energy here. It's very true. I know. What is going on? I don't know. It's it's like trying to draw somewhere else in the house. Hello? Do you think it's people outside, or like, what do you think it is? Let me listen for a second. All right, everybody, I'm just popping in really quick. I'm uh, almost through editing this video, and the amount of EVPs and disembodied voices I've captured is the most I've ever gotten ever in a video that I've filmed, ever. It doesn't even make sense. So the one you just saw that said Chris, at least I think it says Chris. Let me know what you guys think about that one, but. That was wild. Again, I, I I don't even know like how to describe it. Like I was looking at the timeline and the 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 vocals like when you like it's a straight line and when you talk it goes up. You know like that's the vocal range. It's such a small little peak, so tiny like a little whisper into the microphone. 
really creepy. I got chills on my arms as soon as I heard that. I have chills right now just thinking about it. It's so weird. Um, arm hairs are standing up, but yeah, so I got that one. And then right after the, um, the Chris one, I also heard strange again. Now, earlier in the video, I heard an EVP that said strange. Again, I, I can't figure out what it is or it doesn't sound like any of us. And I, I don't remember or recall saying like strange like that. It doesn't, it's weird to get the same EVP twice. I guess it could be a camera malfunction, but I've never heard of cameras malfunctioning in like, in like adding audio clips, I guess, to, to a video, like, like adding like random voices, you know, like it doesn't really make sense to me. So let me know what you think in the comments about these. Um, again, we're getting through the video. We're about halfway there and I just wanted to like update you all and let you know that I did see these. Obviously you see the text on the screen, but I'm editing them and I'm blown away. I really am truly blown away, especially on a night like that night where I, I don't know. I necessarily like didn't think we had a ton of crazy activity. Uh, you guys are in for a treat at the end of this video because it scared the absolute crap out of me. But like, like early on, it was kind of, it was kind of quiet. You know, it wasn't that crazy. It was a little bit crazy, but it wasn't like, oh my god, this place is like, it's the most haunted house ever. But I don't know. It just got weirder and weirder as the video went on. And there was also that EVP I never mentioned, that one that was uh, outside that we heard. That was weird. That was like somebody was outside the window and nothing. There was nothing there. There was nobody there. So. Yeah, I don't really know how to describe those, but like I said, I just want to update you all and let you know that um, I heard them. And if I missed any other ones, please let me know. I'll leave timestamps so I can see them. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Let's carry on with the video. I don't either. I'm stumped right now and fire in the place. I couldn't even tell you. I'm just like, like, so, like, what the hell? I don't know. From the stuff in the basement to now. It's just nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. Because, like, we 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 had the, the seance with Dylan. Yeah, which went crazy. Everything calmed down for, like, a week. And then it's just, like, start to yeah. rise, 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 rise again. What's well, exactly Like, we kind of thought we, like, maybe closed any open doors to so to say when we did the seance well, we thought, but, we were but wrong. yeah we just like i think it's supercharged and like it's been worse yeah. <sighs> yeah that's not our opinion i'm curious about you guys like do you, do you believe that seances are positive or negative like should we do another seance to maybe try to i don't know like should we really try to do something to calm down the spirits like maybe we look up like how to do uh a... there's gotta be a, another seance we could do that would make things not so crazy right like did I we mean, not close it right i mean no i don't know i mean we've gotten you know, some as much as i do how that thing ended like it was it was bad but like i i really don't think that at any given time that you can correctly close what we conjured yeah whatever's here all the portals on the property and the ley lines like there's just so much so many different elements to this property i was fine with the whole burnt bridge history mm -hmm. and then once the experts came here and were like Ley lines. I'm like, okay, let me research what exactly the fuck that really means. And then that's got me a little weirded out. And then the portal in the basement's got me even more weirded out. Like, it's just... It's just a lot. We need to piece this all together. It's just trying to figure out what is here and what is messing with us. Time after time after time. <sighs> Alright, I just... Grab a drink. I figure it out.
What the hell? Yeah. It's a good ball. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a good time. Love it here. the second time we've heard crying, like straight up legit crying. It's not like dog crying, but like baby crying. It's like 16 like year old girl crying. It's like a female crying for whatever the hell is going on. I'm just trying to bring, trying to get our gear together to go film upstairs. Just want to do another investigation up there, but we keep hearing that same noise. Every time I stop the camera, it starts again. It's, it's just strange. I don't know. I don't know if that's like paranormal or if that's like related to anything going on tonight, but we're uncomfortable. Weird nonetheless. <laughs> just popping in really quick before we go up to the attic and finish the investigation here. Uh, I put these last two clips in the video only because I need your help. Both times I started filming because we were taking a break and then we heard noises. Uh, the first time I couldn't really explain what we heard. It was kind of weird. It was like thuds and then it sounded like somebody was talking. I smelled cigarette smoke. It was just very strange and CJ ended up smelling it too. The second time we heard crying and we heard crying multiple times. Uh, I turned the camera on to start recording again and I don't think I picked it up. I did, I did listen to the clip back with my headphones in and I couldn't hear anything but um, I kind of like your guys' help because you all seem to have better hearing than I do. Uh, the trophy truck racing has kind of messed my ears up permanently, but it is what it is. I love racing, so it's worth it. Um, but if you heard anything or saw anything that I didn't see or hear, again, like I, I've said it multiple times, but please leave a comment, leave a timestamp, and let me know. I really appreciate the help. And yeah, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think of the video so far. And that's about it. I appreciate you all, and uh, let's get to the end of this video. Oh, that's your screw. What? You just started recording. Oh, you, okay. you, you saw me, right? My hand is my hand has been like this the whole time. I'm I'm losing my mind right now. I can't fucking do this. Is this shit really happening? Like, am I dreaming again? Oh, I think really I. Just turned I swear to God, I'm not even. <laughs> is it gonna stop again? Like, I don't. Camera stop. Trying to pull up the camera with the farm here. What is that? That's like. I just saw a shadow move across the stairs down here. Oh, 
Somebody just walked by the stairs? I definitely saw you. Make another noise for us and let us know you're here with us. Okay, you know what? What the fuck? The cameras aren't loading. That door literally just moved. Oh, fuck. Somebody just went on the window. I heard that. That was in the door. Is there anything from John? I, I can't get any cameras to load. It's like they don't even exist. I mean, we have John sitting towards like the end of the driveway. Just we ask him to come out sometimes, just when you know things seem a little off, or we just want to make sure we're secure. Uh, John's a great, great friend. He helps us out so much. Um, he's the only one here, and if he saw something or people outside, he would definitely let us know. He's very uh, aware of what's going on outside. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know how much more of this I can do, honestly. Like, I, I want, I truly just want to go up to the attic, spend 10 minutes up there tops, and like, I'm good. Like, I don't know how much more I can personally do tonight. I don't know what you're. I'm trying to load back in the camera. My camera's glitching right now. My shit will not log in. I don't understand how. It's like they don't even exist. It's like I have to reload them. I don't know. There's no way. Maybe go to the attic. Go to the next door. I'm just gonna grab a light. I say we bust out the actual spirit box. My personal favorite device. One cat ball? Oh yeah. Alright, let's do this. God, it feels like a sauna up here. I swear to God. Did you close that door? Yes. Okay. Now that I think about it, yeah. I was making sure because I know that was open when I came up here earlier. Now the cameras are going off like crazy. Us walking around downstairs, it would. When we come up here and suddenly have a reception. It is hot. It is. I'm sweating. It's been a long night so far. I want to go in the attic. I want to do 10 minutes in the attic. I'm good. We can do whatever after that. It's my only wish. I, yeah, I don't know. Let's do it. Got one cat ball. I'm gonna put it where we can see it. Probably like right by the door, I guess. I don't want it to like be obstructed like that. What? I just heard like something. I thought. What was it? I don't know. That wasn't you? No. I stepped in and heard like a thud. I'm just gonna put this down. I said I don't want this cat ball to be like moved by anything but ghost if they want to touch it. So there's a cat ball right there. Would you um trying to think here? How brave are you? What do you mean? <laughs> you know, like lights out for like a minute? Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. And then after that, I say we do a sphere box. Just go lights out, let's listen for like, just like a brief minute. It could be a brisk minute. A brisk It's like a brisk walk. You know what I mean? Not yeah, like but. Like a lot of minute, but like kind of a minute. A brisk minute lights off. You ready? Oh my god. Oh. It's the dumbest idea you've ever had. This is your idea, motherfucker. I'm not the motherfucker wanting to go up in the attic. I just want to investigate. I never Talk to the ghost. Idea, what was that? That was something else there. What the fuck? Chris, if I turn the light on and the devil himself is in front of us, 
I hope that I just decease right here. Me too. I'm good. The longest minutes of my life, Craig. This is raw. Oh, God. Has it been a brisk minute yet? It feels like it's been a brisk 10 minutes, honestly. I, I think I'm pretty good. You're pretty. I'm, I'm pretty content. Pretty content? Yeah, we can put our lights on whenever, honestly. I'm doing it right now. Cool, cool. Like that. <laughs> that was rough. Damn. You know what yes. really fucked me up? What's that? <laughs> the fucking attic. Like someone like standing right there. <laughs> just someone just standing oh there. Oh my gosh, I had died. Like, I just wonder what's going to happen when that time comes where we do actually see like a true apparition. I don't think I'm ready for it. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm ready for it. Oh, damn. Do your knees hurt? Am I just getting old? I mean, you're older I than I am, it. but. Oh, shit. All right, start that spirit box out. Cause... All right. Yeah, I don't. Brown work the same. Oh, oh. <laughs> you need to copy that straight. You're the next CJ Mason. It's a warning. Warning? Mm hmm. Get him. Warning, get him. It's your choice to stand there. That's weird. I mean, it is our choice. It's not wrong. Oh, shit. risky. Are we in danger right now? Tell us the truth. Does it bother you that we're in the attic? And not in the basement? Who's been making all the noise tonight? Can you tell us that? I got some lights out. I'm not doing that. Nah, we're good. We're good. Okay. If you can hear us, can you make another noise or do something to scare us out of the attic? We need to move away from the door. Next to your back, you gotta go. I don't know, maybe get the fan or something? Mm -hmm. No, you got enough to go back. Might have to power to turn on the house and the fan will start going with some crazy stuff. <laughs> it's a warning. Warning well, yeah. again. You'll be pushed. Are you trying to harm us? Why don't you like us? Why do you want us to leave? You kill them? Yeah, we sure did. Kill them. Kill them again. Some, some angry and evil is here with us. Is it because of the seance? Is that why you're so upset? I said yeah. Right away. Should we do another seance? I wouldn't. Oh my god. Oh boy. Bro. What will happen if we do another seance? Kill? Leave. That's what you get. Oh boy. Is it better or worse when our friend Dylan's here? Said F him. There's a Dylan. Oh my god. Wait, what is it? Now, this could be me. Okay. Yeah. You see my shadow with my light. If you can kind of see that. It's kind of like moving like left and right. I'm not sure exactly what the hell I just saw or what I think I just saw, but I, it could have been my light moving. Okay. But I've been staring out that door that whole time. Yep. And 
I'm just gonna tell it how it is, dude. I really don't know what the. F <laughs> I don't know what I just saw, but I'm telling you, it's like it's something. On the... Chris. What the. F okay. What was that? Um. Chris, watch that fucking fan. Watch the fan. How, dude? This. Yo, for real. This. We're done. The cat ball. The cat ball. Bye. I'm leaving it. I'm fucking leaving it. I don't even care. Are you done? This. Dude, what the f I will no longer ever play around with his house. I'm done. I need I need to go outside. I'm done. Are you good? I'm done. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm shook. I'm good. How, dude? How the actual like? There's like. Yeah, that's that's not. What was that? I just wanted to first of all apologize to you guys. I know this video kind of ended abruptly, but um, did you hear that? That's literally sound like it was in the house. But again, I'm sorry for ending this video abruptly. I don't usually feel this way but that was probably one of like the top three scariest things that has ever happened at least to me um i feel very uncomfortable i don't feel like the energy that's there tonight is great i feel like it's very evil very negative whatever it is i'm not gonna say it's demonic i don't know what what if it actually is or not but it doesn't want us there and i'm good i'm content um had enough crazy stuff happen tonight i know my limits i know when it's smart to hang it up and just call it a night we'll come back tomorrow or the next night and we'll film again but for me tonight, I'm good. I'm content. I'm a little bit shook up. I'm sure I'll be all right. But like I said, if we miss anything in the video, please let us know. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like, all that stuff. Because it, it means the world to me. It really does. appreciate everybody's support. I mean, I'm sorry for wrapping this one up, but I got to get going here. But I'm telling you guys, this house is nothing to mess with. You should not play around. Do not take this shit lightly.